not about standing off. It's not about standing and showing people one way. It's about pressing. My name is Neil Winskill and I am the under-18s head coach at Newcastle United Football Club. I was an apprentice, as it was known then, back in 1994 to 96, which was under Kevin Keegan and the team at the time was the Entertainers. And I was released at age 18 and I decided to go into education and study coaching. And since that moment, I've had uh, three different roles, really. I was the uh, football development officer for Newcastle City Council. I've been the foundation's football development manager here at the football club. And now I'm currently uh, working full time as a coach with the 18s, having previously been with the 15s and 16s. Go, go, go sprint. First one in the grid, quick. This is our endurance day or our orange day as we call it at the club. Uh, so this is about strategy. It's about the team. It's about the 11 by 11 game. The purpose of the practice is to look at losses of possession. That will include things like, are we organized when we're attacking? So that if the attack breaks down, we've got people in the right places, ready to do the right job to try and recover the ball back quickly. Practice one is just an introductory practice uh, for the players to get them a feel of the ball, to get their hearts uh, raised. Um, we're gonna use three rondos, three rondo boxes and there'll be a, a, a consequence of giving the ball away, of having to go and defend, but in a different box. Now we're gonna put the boxes vertically up and down the pitch, hopefully just planting the seed of that moment that we lose the ball, what's required in terms of a reaction, and whether we want them to go forward and press or back to recover. There's only one purpose of this practice, right? And it's reaction, it's reaction, okay? So if I look at this group here, keeping possession, go on, who's the defender? Who's the second defender? He's took Liam in with him, okay? Go and slide round, okay? If James tries to play to, to Gilly, go and play, intercept. So he intercepts that one, okay? You're off, okay? And you need to decide quick who you're taking with you. Now you need to decide, if you're thinking of the big pitch here, you're gonna either run up the pitch to press, or you're gonna have to run back to recover, okay? But the minute you lose the ball, that split second, who are you taking and where you're going? Fast reaction, okay? It's not a problem losing the ball, but we then need the reaction, a positive action to get it back, okay? Come on, off you go, off you go. Work together, work together. Work together, work together, stay close, stay close. Good, who's going? Go, go, go! Don't think twice, don't think twice, just run. We need the ball back. Go! Go, we need the ball, good Joel. Good speed Joel, look at the reaction you've got from Joel. Good, good play Joel Oliver. Done well, done well, done well. Trying to run through the grid lads. Good, go, who is it? Keep sliding on those lines. Go on, James, sprint. Go on, sprint in there, like you mean business. Oh, you've got it, you've got to play. Got to be a winner possession, that is. Go. Go, 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 sprint. First one in the grid, quick. The first practice was just uh, a livener, as a warm up, just to get the players uh, tuned in to the idea of losing possession and then reacting to run and sprint to try and get the ball back, albeit in a different grid, in a different rondo. Um, so it was just to try and set the scene that practice really. The other outcome being people being able to play under pressure and support along the lines in order to keep possession, which I thought was pretty good in fairness. The players did need a bit of provoking just to remind them that when you lose the ball, it's not the end of the world. It can be sorted, but we need to react quickly and run quickly uh, because that's probably the best opportunity you're gonna have to to get it back. Who lost it? Yeah, they come, the mean business. Yes, Michael. Won it back immediately. Well, we made the grid tight as well, so that it's difficult to keep possession. So there should be lots of turnovers of the ball. And it's then a case of whether 
people have got the right mentality to turn, sprint, but also the added element today was they have to communicate with one of their mates to go with them and defend as a pair. So there's a communication aspect of it as well, um, to go and hunt the ball back down and to chase it until they get it back. The group that we have at the moment are a really good group, really creative. We have lots of technically good players in possession. We have to constantly work hard with them out of possession. And on the, the topic today of, of a loss of possession, to make sure we get the right attitude and the right application to do the things that maybe players don't like doing or don't want to do, but ultimately have to do if they want to have the ball. We have to make sure that they get that work done and sometimes we have to be fairly strict with them and straight to the point in order to make sure the intensity and the work rate and the application is right. To see the full coaching course and for more exclusive content from top-level professional and academy coaches, subscribe to the Coaches Voice Academy at academy.coachesvoice.com.